All right, let's get one thing out of the way before I talk about Moon Knight Episode 5. I do think I've maybe been rating some of the episodes a bit too high just because uh, I'm so invested in the show. And when I watch an episode, I'm like, wow, that was really good. It's it's still really good. And I've rated the last three episodes nine in a row. I think maybe the last two were like an eight. And I'm mentioning this because I think this episode was better and the best in the show. But I don't think it was quite a 10, so that's that's why I need to clarify that. But, you know, they're not set in stone. They can, they, I can say they can change. I can say that. But yes, today's episode was my favourite. It explained a lot of things without hammering out exposition, but through effective storytelling. And this is matched with Oscar Isaac's supreme performance that he just, he just keeps putting in an incredible performance in this show and it, it really does feel like he's two characters i know i say that pretty much every week but it really does so let's go through what we've actually learned we've learned that the psychiatric ward is actually something that mark slash steven is imagining as their version of the underworld it's what they're picturing their version of the underworld to be and in this psychiatric ward harrow is the lead doctor that's trying to deceive them in their eyes and that's based off of how they view him in the real world i mean this inclusion of harrow and his role here is still a little bit confusing, but I'm just assuming that this is just how Mark and Steven are picturing him in this scenario based on their experiences with him in real life. As for Mark and Steven, they're told by the big hippo lady that they need to balance their scales if they want to make it to the afterlife and not be thrown off the boat and join the lost souls. And this is where the truth finally reveals itself through the visitation of memories and flashbacks and whatnot. We discover that the body is and always has been Mark's and that Steven was an alternative persona created in order to escape his trauma. That trauma being the death of his younger brother when they were both kids, his mother blamed him for the death of his younger brother he ended up blaming himself for the death of his younger brother and therefore he created stephen as a means of escape and stephen grant is based off a british film character that we see on on a poster on the wall of his bedroom and we also saw this film playing on the tv in the psychiatric ward in last week's episode and stephen grant is like an explorer you know he's knowledgeable in history and artifacts and all this sort of stuff and that's what stephen you know mark's version of stephen is basing his personality on and that's why he's very similar to the film character it seemed mark had control of the body majority of the time but he only snapped into stephen when something tried traumatic occurred like when he had to show up to his mother's funeral but he didn't have to end up going in and that made him feel very emotional obviously and he didn't want to deal with the trauma so therefore he snapped into Stephen and this ended up becoming quite a regular occurrence I guess with the guilt of being a mercenary you know that almost played on Mark and that reminded him of things and therefore I'm assuming he was just flip-flopping flip-flopping between Mark and Stephen and that's when things became blurry and you know, that he was losing control ultimately to Steven. He was struggling to get his body back. We also saw in this episode as well that Mark became the Moon Knight after a mercenary job went wrong and that mercenary job was where Layla's father died. This is not at the hands of Mark, but, you know, in the aftermath, Mark did come across Conchu. Conchu said he was suitable and Mark became his avatar whilst also having an alternative alternative persona so that just ultimately makes his life even crazier than it already was mark and steven still haven't balanced the scales though and they end up getting attacked by some of the lost souls on the boat and in this whole situation steven does fall off the boat this causes him to die it seems that this might be the end of steven I i'm not really sure maybe he can come back in some form i mean technically it's a persona who's died it's it's not really two people you know it, it, it is one person and he's split part of himself into this Steven character but either way losing Steven has caused Mark's scales to balance because he's finally shook off the thing that was stopping him from having a balanced life I guess or a balanced soul was because he was actually you know split in a sense and he had this imaginary person but now Mark has to face everything he has to face all trauma because he can no longer escape to the personality of Steven which was that was all it was to him it was just the means of an escape this episode explained a lot and it did it in an effective and exciting way not treating viewers like idiots and still leaving questions and setting up the last episode very well as we know Harrow succeeded in finding Armit's tomb all I can say is Oscar Isaac is fantastic in this it's kind Kind of when you think about it it's actually a bit crazy that they got oscar isaac to do this you know because he's never been in the mcu before this is his first thing in the mcu and they've managed to get him to take on a role in a tv show nonetheless so it's quite a big deal that they actually got isaac to do this but it's paying off because he's doing such a good job as mark and as steven and as 
whoever the hell he's playing in this, he's always doing a great job. And I'm really looking forward to the final episode next week. It is set up very nicely. I'm really looking forward to how that's going to conclude. I'm sure it should be good because these five episodes have been great and it's really setting itself up to be a great show. This episode does get a 9 out of 10 and that's... That's not going to change. This was, this was a 9 out of 10 today. Thank you all for watching. If you've seen Moon Knight Episode 5, please let me know what you think about it. If you have any theories, if uh, you have any theories about today's episode, you know, what you think it all means, please let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.